Welcome to the Family History Buff channel. On today's video, I will show you how to search and find your ancestors using Family Search Wiki, located in Family Search, right in your own home. Marie Dalton here, your family history buff. Hopefully you had a chance to view our very first video titled How to Find Your Ancestors on Family Search. I'm going to show you how to search and find your ancestors using Family Search Wiki located in Family Search. To begin with, go to Family Search's website, familysearch.org, to log into your Family Search account. Once here, go ahead and click on Sign In. If you have never logged into Family Search before or don't have a Family Search account, I would highly recommend you listen to our video number one first. Now let's go ahead and sign in. Once you have successfully entered Family Search, click on the Family Tree icon right up here. And on the drop down menu, go ahead and click on Tree. Once you have successfully entered Family Search, you should now see your personal record right down here, followed by a pedigree chart of all of your ancestors. I'm now going to show you how to search and find your ancestors' historical records using Wiki located in Family Search. First, you want to go to the top of the screen and click on Search. Then, when the drop down menu appears, click on Research Wiki right down here. This window will pop up now. You are now in the Family Search Wiki page. So, what exactly is the Family Search Wiki? The Family Search Research Wiki is a free online genealogical guide created and maintained by Family Search, a nonprofit organization. It contains links to genealogical databases, websites, other resources, research strategies, and genealogical guidance. To assist in the search for your ancestors, the wiki has records from the United States as well as from 244 different countries. So Family Search Research Wiki is a genealogical resource guide. By using wiki, you can find the birth, death, marriage, census records, and other genealogical resources for your ancestor by selecting their region and country below. First, let's explain how the wiki search works. The Family Search Wiki is not about finding the names of your ancestors. It is not, in fact, about finding people at all. The Wiki is about finding records that may have been generated about your ancestors and the places in which the records might be found. It is a vast record depository of the paper trail that people leave behind long after they are gone. To find your ancestors' historical records, Wiki uses a backdoor approach which means you follow a paper trail in finding records about your ancestor, which means you start backwards instead of forward. Start with possible localities and a possible country, followed by a possible state or province, followed by a city, and eventually you will find death, birth, probate, and land records along with many more records. Let me show you what I mean. To start, you will need to know the possible localities where your ancestor lived listed below. For example, if they lived in North America, you would click here. If they lived in Europe, if they lived in Asia, or if they lived in South America or Africa, you would click on those areas. But actually, you have two choices listed on this page to click on. You can click on the localities, as we just went over, or you can click on the icon shown on the right side of this page, which is Jump Start, right over here, which is to help you jump start your research. If you click on this, this is a guided research. This option is easy to follow, so I will click on this option. So I will click right here. Now the reason I like this option better on the jump start is immediately when this window pops up, it shows the countries available that I can choose from. Now first, in order to search for ancestral records on Wiki, you will need to be prepared. 
Think about what you want to find out about your ancestor. Be specific. Consider the location where the event might have happened. The more you narrow your search, the more successful you will be. So next, I will need to know the possible country where my ancestor lived. And you can see lots of choices. But in this case, I'm going to click on the United States. Next, you will need to know the possible state where your ancestor lived. You can click on the list shown on the left of this page, right over here, or you can click on the state shown on this map. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on Utah. This window pops up, which is the Utah Guided Research. Now note, if you are not sure where your ancestor is from, or where they were born or died, just keep guessing and trying various countries, states, and cities. Now on this page, it shows various choices of records to search. As I scroll down this page, I see various options to help me in my search. I see Utah birth collections between 1890 to 1940. I see Utah marriage collections between 1850 and 1950. I see Utah County marriages between 1887 and 1937. And at the bottom I see Utah death collections between 1840 and the year 2000. Now let's assume you're trying to find a death record for your ancestor. I'm going to go ahead and click on Utah death collections. This window pops up, indexed historical records. And since we're trying to find death records in the state of Utah, you will see that death is already highlighted in the search right here. Now as I scroll down this page, it shows various filters included in my search. It also shows you many historical records you can view to help you with your research. And all of these would be for the state of Utah. Next, you have an option to type in the name of your ancestor that you're trying to find. As an example, I'm going to type in my grandfather's name, Edward Meeks Dalton. I'll do that right here. So I'm going to type his name right here. Edward Meeks Dalton. Also, in my search, to help me find more of his records, I'm going to add his spouse's name, Zofa. So I'm going to click on Spouse right down here, and I'm going to type in his spouse's name, Zofa. And I'm just going to leave her last maiden name blank. This should help me in my search. So now all of these records that have been filtered below for death records in the state of Utah, right down through here. When I go ahead and click on search, it's going to search all of these filtered items down here below. And it's going to try to find death records for Edward Meeks Dalton in the state of Utah. So I'm going to click on search. Next, this window will pop up and it shows search results for 313 records right up here. Now there is no way all of these records are connected to my grandfather. However, I do see some that are true records here towards the top. The most likely records connected to your ancestor is always shown at the top of the screen, followed by the least likely down towards the bottom. And you can see many other pages that you can go to. Now note, one thing to be aware of as you search for ancestors, there is a lot of similar names and there is a lot of names that are spelled exactly like each other. Now as I look over this records, I do see a record that I'm interested in that I found from my grandfather. It doesn't have his first name, but it does show his middle name of Meeks Dalton. So I wouldn't have been able to find that if I wouldn't have had his middle name in. But it does show his spouse's name over here also of Zofa Lewis. So I want to click on this record to see what information it shows. It shows an actual death certificate, and it's listed right here. 
If I wanted to view the original, I would click on this, and then I would be able to print this out right on my computer. Now, if you can't find what you're looking for, you do have an option shown on the left side of this screen to refine your search right over here. The options you have would be to put alternate names, nicknames. You can put other life events like birth, marriage, residence, search by relationship, search by country or province, search records by type, birth, baptism, marriage, census, immigration records, military records, probate records. Once you have refined your search, just keep clicking on update right down here and Wiki will continue searching for records that you're searching for. One thing I have found, it takes a lot of patience, but with a little bit of patience and time, eventually you will find what you're looking for, as long as a record is to be found. And finally, this is a message from Family Search Wiki, a quote. In every success story example, the Wiki was not the first choice to search for research help, but in every success story example, the user came away with the realization that the Family Search Research Wiki is a valuable tool. And in many cases, the answers to research questions are already there." End quote. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation, and if so, please subscribe to this channel, Family History Buff. If you missed any of the previous videos, 1 through 10, I would strongly recommend you watch them so that they can help you explore and find your ancestors on Family Search. You will want to watch video number 12 entitled How to Add and View Source Information on Family Search right in your own home. Thank you for watching. See you in video number 12.